Well, I started to play chess in the first grade. Uh, I knew some of it because uh, my grandfather taught me how the pieces moved, but then in the first grade uh, we had this uh, very enthusiastic uh, chess teacher and uh, um, he gave me two tens at our first uh, chess lesson and uh, I think it had uh, quite a big importance when I decided that I'll go for, uh, for chess and uh, well then I started to go to that chess circle and later the first tournaments came and so it went and went and I had uh, some different uh, hobbies as well uh, but one by one uh, uh, chess uh, took over. <laughs> I've never really thought what was there in the beginning, what I liked about chess. I don't know, it just uh, uh, dragged me in this uh, circle completely. I, I'm not sure uh, how to explain it, like from the prospect of uh, the kid that days, what was there so interesting. But perhaps that was the taste of uh, the win, even though it attracted me even before I won. So. Uh, maybe that's some uh, uh, that's some food for me for me to think actually. <laughs> well, uh, it was uh, definitely a challenge because well, <laughs> of course it uh, it cannot be easy when you miss school uh, two or three months then to come back. But uh, you know I had that ambition because uh, well in chess you cannot do without it, <laughs> and I wanted to be the the best at everything I did. So I spent uh, just an unbelievable amount of time of <laughs> time on uh, catching up all those uh, subjects at school, so uh, I graduated it uh, among the first ones in, uh, in my uh, school. And, well, I definitely believe that when you want to, to achieve something, you can do that. And uh, that's actually what was guiding me throughout my life. <laughs> I believe the first success was the win uh, in the under 10 uh, national championship because uh, um, well, that was, uh, I think, in the first year I was playing and it was quite unexpected from me to win that event because, well, it passed only a few months since I started chess, but uh, it was uh, definitely an event to be remembered <laughs> and it inspired me for, uh, for my future chess, definitely. I actually have uh, two very early memories and they are very funny. Uh, well, the first one uh, happened uh, uh, when I traveled with my mom to the European uh, Under-10 Championship in Spain, actually. And uh, it would have been my first flight, so I was very excited about it. And then, uh, uh, well, it got... Uh, uh, there was something going on. We had to fly through Italy, I believe, but then it changed through Switzerland and um, we were rerouted and we were given like a business class ticket instead of the regular one because there were no other places and uh, uh, well the lady the stewardess was coming to me and asking uh, what do i want uh, and then i saw those chocolates and i never in my life saw this very little chocolates but back then and i looked at my mom and i was asking her can i just take a lot of them my mom was making me signs not to, and then I took like two hands full of chocolates and I stuffed my pockets, which were uh, like light lila <laughs> with, ch with chocolate, and then on the next flight they became all chocolatey, you know, <laughs> and that was probably one of my earliest like memories about traveling to tournaments. But then there was one more very funny one. Uh, I was going with uh, with my coach actually at that time, not with my mother, to a tournament in Ukraine and then we took a train and uh, my parents packed me some pretzels, you know, like, and at some point I just uh, wanted to eat them and then my coach saw that I'm preparing to open that packet, he said, oh, no, you cannot do that, Irina, give it away, these pretzels, you cannot eat them because they are just zeros, you cannot do that during uh, the tournament and I said okay I will never ever again eat anything in shape as the zero <laughs> you know and yeah and that's that's probably uh, the most funny memories I have about the beginning of, <laughs> of my chess career. Uh, I guess my chess style can be called uh, dynamic but uh, well uh, I've noticed that uh, mm, it changes, sometimes even I don't realize that it has changed, but uh, yeah, I think it is more on the aggressive part. 
I think that playing against friends it's uh, something normal and um, well of course it is not an ideal situation but also we should remember and I try to remember that it is uh, just a chess game and once it's over we can go back to being friends and discuss what happened in the game it is uh, not something uh, mm, which uh, which I avoid and I think actually that having friends uh, especially in a world uh, like ours when uh, you don't actually get to socialize so much with other people uh, than chess players uh, it's important to be able to separate those things and uh, not to put everything on one plate <laughs> well being uh, back to Gibraltar this year is uh, definitely a big surprise <laughs> for me and uh, I'm very happy to be here it was uh, uh, a really unexpected uh, opportunity and uh, well I'm just enjoying it I hope uh, I hope to play some good chess I'm trying my best and uh, well let's see how it will uh, it will uh, end up <laughs> regarding my chess goals uh, I definitely uh, feel that uh, I haven't uh, accomplished all I can and that's actually a good feeling because uh, it's worse when you feel that you cannot do anymore, right? And uh, I really hope that uh, um, I could uh, become uh, uh, a GM, like uh, the male GM, because uh, that has been a dream for many years and I don't have uh, norms so far. I have been close, but uh, not more. And uh, well, I definitely hope to also uh, fight there in the women's circuit because uh, uh, well that's something I've been also dreaming of and I feel like I can do that I even feel it like like now when I play that I could have had even better results but well there is al always um, some room for improvement <laughs> I like sports so I'm a sports person. I've always liked jogging. I even uh, run the semi-marathon, but uh, well, at some point uh, uh, I couldn't do that anymore, but now I'm back at it and I'm, uh, I'm enjoying the feeling I get because sometimes you can just um, mm, over push yourself and become so exhausted that uh, your head can just uh, you know stop working and that's very useful when it comes also to chess because sometimes uh, the <laughs> the f thoughts are just going and going and there is um, a need to stop them and sport uh, is uh, the best way for me to do so i also like uh, learning new things and um, i've been learning german in this uh, pandemic and uh, it was a really cool experience for me i really liked the group in which we were studying and uh, i was actually writing an article about this that uh, it felt like my brain was actually running on a few extra cpus <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that's probably uh, from the latest, of course, uh, writing, um, uh, not only chess related, but mostly. Um, and I guess that's it. I'm not complicated. <laughs> I was very interested uh, to imagine how my life would uh, look uh, without chess, because uh, during the pandemic, that was something I had to think of. But uh, I believe um, that would be a different person <laughs> you'd be looking at because chess uh, is definitely what shaped me as, as a person and, well, as a human being, of course. And um, it is very, very hard to, to imagine how my life would be without chess. <laughs> chess for me is life. <laughs>